Close to the coast in the Broads National Park is the Horsey Estate. And here we're working in partnership to look at a pioneering wetland farming project about the future of farming in Britain's largest protected wetland. The Broads is a mosaic of clay and peat soils. They store a huge amount of carbon and they're a sponge. And when they're drained for agricultural development, all of that carbon tends to go up to the atmosphere and we don't have that storage capacity in the floodplain that's so important for the Broads National Park. Our role on the project was to undertake both the design and construction of the wetland demonstration site. This project and projects like it are critical to managing water levels in the face of climate change. What motivated me to use this land? Really, it was the enthusiasm of the Broads Authority, and it's a particularly good site for treating orange, dirty water coming into the Broads. So we've planted over 20,000 plug plants with the support of some fantastic local volunteers. We're taking water from the river and then we're flowing it through these five compartments, like one of the ones behind me here. By opening the sluice, the water flows through. You can see that it's full of ochre, which is this naturally occurring iron compound. We want to filter this out and we'll do that by flowing the water through this series of reed beds. We're going to be harvesting the reed mace here. And then working with our partners, we're going to be turning that into construction materials, such as insulation or pressed board. So really looking at whether we can add value to this crop. We're working with scientists and policy makers to get polluted culture adopted into agricultural policy and create that network of expertise and knowledge that can be translated into other projects. So I'm really hopeful here that the site will show how you can make commercial reed or typha growing possible. Then ground which isn't currently reed bed might be used for this, which would be great for lots of things. We're hoping that we can demonstrate how we can re-wet these peaty soils to reduce carbon emissions, and then also how we can grow reed and reed mace for really innovative construction products. My hope is that this project will contribute to providing clean and plentiful water for people and wildlife. This is about rethinking our relationship with nature and finding new ways to work with the changing landscape of the Broads.